Hi everyone, Arnold here, SantaMuerteMagic.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'll be discussing a Santa Muerte health and healing meditation. This is something I've never shared before, I've never written about it before, so all of you who see this video will be the first ones to learn this method as I practice it and as I now teach it. This method is very much inspired by Reiki. If there are any Reiki practitioners out there, uh, many of the elements of this method should feel very familiar to you. Um, so much so, in fact, that at one point I considered referring to this method as Santa Muerte Reiki, or Death Reiki. Uh, I decided against it, since Reiki is associated with the healing power of the energy of life, and since Santa Muerte is considered death itself, I thought it would be too much of an oxymoron, and so now I just refer to this method as a Santa Muerte health and healing meditation. Also, unlike Reiki, you do not need to be attuned or initiated in order to use this method. You can begin to use this method as soon as you learn it, as soon as this video is over. Um, when we use this method, we appeal to the Santa Muerte, and remember that Santa Muerte accepts us all, uh, so it is by virtue of our own mortality that we are uh, granted access to the benefits that a meditation like this can offer. Um, the uh, first thing I'll discuss is how I perform this meditation for myself, on myself. After that, I'll talk about how you can perform this meditation for the benefit of somebody else who is either physically with you in the same space or at a distance. Um, and after that, I'll give a couple of uh, tips and tricks for those of you who might struggle with visualization. Uh, also, there is no need for anything physical. You don't need any special tools. You don't even need to be at a Santa Muerte altar. Uh, the power of this meditation comes from uh, within. So you already have everything you need to begin practicing this uh, health and healing meditation. So to begin, um, if I'm using this meditation for myself, I will get into a comfortable position. I like to be seated, but you could also be laying down or even standing up. It doesn't matter. Um, next, I'll visualize the Santa Muerte. In the tradition of Santa Muerte, the color yellow is associated with health and healing. So when I visualize Santa Muerte for the purposes of this meditation, I visualize her in a cloak of yellow. If I'm seated, I will visualize the Santa Muerte standing just behind me with her two skeleton hands hovering just over the crown of my head. If I was laying down, uh, I might visualize uh, the two skeleton hands of Santa Muerte hovering just over my heart or just over my abdomen. Or if, uh, if I had a specific area of concern or complaint that I wanted to address, I would imagine her two skeleton hands hovering just over that specific area. Uh, generally, though, I, I perform this meditation seated and I visualize the Santa Muerte in her cloak of yellow standing just behind me with her two skeleton hands hovering just over the crown of my head. Once uh, I have the image of Santa Muerte in my mind, uh, I visualize from the hands of Santa Muerte flowing out and down into and over my body a bright, yellow healing light. As I see that, uh, that image in my mind's eye, I begin to repeat the health and healing uh, magic prayer or mantra. It's very short, only two lines long. The mantra is, Holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. Holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. Holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. And I essentially hold that visualization in my mind of the Santa Muerte standing just behind me, wearing her cloak of yellow, her two skeleton hands hovering just over the crown of my head, that healing yellow light 
flowing into my body. And I repeat, holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. And I do that for as long as is comfortable. Uh, it might, if I only have a few minutes, I might repeat that mantra um, for 30 seconds to a minute or two. If you are experienced with meditation, you might be able to hold uh, that pose and that visualization uh, and that focus for up to 20 minutes, up to 60 minutes. Um, again, you go for as long as you feel comfortable and for as long as you are able. Now, if I was performing this uh, health and healing meditation on behalf of somebody else, and if they were in the room with me, then uh, if that person was seated, I would stand behind the person with my two hands physically over, hovering over the crown of the head of uh, the person. And in my mind's eye, I would visualize then the Santa Muerte standing behind me with her skeleton hands extended over the crown of my own head. Essentially, I've become a middleman. I've become, uh, in Reiki, they would call this, they say that uh, the Reiki energy does not come from you, but you are the vessel through which the energy passes. The concept is the same in this meditation. Um, I am in between the physical person in front of me and the visualization in my mind's eye of the Santa Muerte behind me. So as the healing yellow light flows from the skeleton hands of the Santa Muerte into me, that healing light fills me up and travels through my arms, out of my own hands, and I visualize that light passing through me and into the body of the person who's receiving the health and healing um, in front of me. If that person was lying down, it would be the same thing. I would hover my physical hands over the physical body of the person in front of me, over their uh, heart or over their abdomen or over a specific area of concern, as I visualize the Santa Muerte behind me and the yellow light emanating from her skeleton hands into my body, through my arms and out my hands, into the physical person in front of me. Uh, again, I am just, the, the, the energy is not coming from me. It is passing through me uh, from the Santa Muerte. The energy comes from the Santa Muerte. The health and healing comes from the Santa Muerte. I am simply the, the middleman or the conduit or the vessel through which the energy passes. Now, if I'm performing this meditation, uh, oh, I'm sorry. And so once I visualize the energy passing from Santa Muerte into me, out of my own hands, into the person in front of me, I would simply repeat the same mantra or prayer. Holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. I could say that out loud and have the person in front of me uh, recite the prayer with me. If they didn't want to, they could sit there silent as I recite the prayer on their behalf. Uh, but I simply go for as long as they feel comfortable. Again, it could be a couple minutes. It could be 20 minutes for as long as they are comfortable and for as long as they have to spare. Now, if the person... Uh, is at a distance. If the person is not in the same room as me, then I actually visualize the Santa Muerte and the person who will be receiving the healing energy. Um, I visualize those two together, but without me. So I basically, since the person is at a distance, I create the visualization in my mind's eye of the person who I wish to receive the healing energy, either sitting or laying down. And then I visualize the Santa Muerte standing over them with her skeleton hands hovering over either the crown of their head or their chest or their abdomen. If the person to who I am sending the healing energy 
has a specific area of concern, then I would imagine the skeleton hands of Santa Muerte hovering over that area of the person. And then as I hold this image in my mind, I would recite the mantra, Holy Death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. As I'm visualizing the healing yellow light traveling out of the skeleton hands of Santa Muerte into the body of the person who I wish to receive the healing energy. Holy Death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. And I do that for as long as I feel comfortable. Holy Death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. And so that is basically how you could perform this meditation on yourself, on another person who is physically in the room with you, or on behalf of another person who is uh, separated or who is at a distance. Now, if visualization is not your strong suit, I understand a lot of you might struggle with visualization, no worries. If you're performing this uh, meditation for yourself, you can use a physical object, a physical representation of Santa Muerte. I have my uh, seven, yeah, seven colored uh, Santa Muerte altar statue here. If uh, I had trouble visualizing the Santa Muerte standing behind me and the light emanating from her hands into my body, if that's too difficult, try holding a, a representation of Santa Muerte. It could be an altar statue. It could be an image on your phone. It could be a simple skull drawn on a piece of paper. Hold that physical item in your hands and try to visualize that item glowing yellow. And then as you uh, visualize that item glowing yellow in your hands uh, or just in front of you, you recite the, the mantra, holy, holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. Holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. Holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. Um, if you are going to be performing the meditation on behalf of another person, uh, you could, if you have uh, something connected to the person, like a photograph, or even just their name and identifying information on a piece of paper, uh, you could hold that, that piece of paper or photograph in your hands and try to visualize it uh, glowing yellow or whatever color you associate with health and healing. In my case, it's yellow. I would visualize that photograph or piece of paper with the person's information glowing yellow, and I would recite the prayer. Holy death, I pray to you for good health and healing true. Again, you can do that for a minute or two or for as long as, as you feel comfortable. 30 minutes to an hour if, if you're able to focus for that long. Um, and, uh, and that would be if the person is at a distance. Now, if the person is in front of you, um, you can do the same uh, action of holding your hands, hovering over the, uh, the, the body of the person, either over the crown of the head or over the heart, uh, and try to visualize your hands glowing yellow. If you can't hold the image of the Santa Muerte um, in, your, in your mind's eye, if you can't hold the image of the energy flowing from the Santa Muerte through you and into the person who's in front of you, uh, try to just visualize your, your hands glowing yellow. And by virtue of your intent to deliver healing energy to the person, and by virtue of the fact that you are using the mantra to call upon Santa Muerte, then uh, this will suffice for delivering the health and healing energy from the Santa Muerte into the person. Your intent will be set and um, represented in such a way that makes it obvious that you are calling on the Santa Muerte through the prayer, through the mantra, Holy Death, I pray to you for good health and healing true your intent is obvious um, by virtue of the prayer and the placement of your hands over the person's body. Uh, so 
that's essentially the Santa Muerte health and healing meditation. Uh, very familiar or very similar to a Reiki um, session uh, without the need to rely on the energy of Reiki itself or the, um, the many rules that go along with, with accessing the power of Reiki. It's basically a, a meditation that relies on the power of Santa Muerte in order to uh, promote health and healing either in yourself or in, in somebody else. Uh, hopefully I've explained this method clearly, and uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me through my website. There's also the Patreon Messenger system and the Discord chat server. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, bye.